Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. This is another of my fictional short, short stories. This one is called When Dogs Became Politically Incorrect. I've always had a dog, but slowly people started giving me dirty looks. You see, society has been restricting us more and more. First, it was microaggressions. You can't ask, where are you from? Because it's perceived as othering. You can't say fuck because it's exclusionary of sexual diversity. By now, the year 2035, it's gotten more extreme. People spending even spare time not working for the revolution are viewed askance, including, and what really got to me, having a dog. Usually, people just avoided eye contact or pursed their lips, but one person, person, we're not allowed to say man or woman anymore, that's too binary, sneered at me, don't you have anything better to do than waste time owning a dog, those curs that pee on people's ear escapes? I had had enough. I had already given in and quit my AI job for Amazon in favor of a low-pay job at a kale-growing collective that prides itself on its heavily transgender BIPOC employees. But I wasn't going to give up my dog, Angel. I loved our mutual loyalty, our routines, our snuggling. I insisted that I be allowed to bring Angel to work. After all, I was working outside. Well, <clears throat> one day I was weeding, Angel by my side, when a woman walked by with a dog. It stopped and peed on a kale plant. The woman blanched until she heard me laugh. We talked, started dating, and decided we were going to be a different kind of revolutionary. We went to the pound and adopted ten dogs that were about to be <coughs> euthanized and spent much of our time finding homes for them. In the meantime, the whole litter of us did lots of cuddling. Viva la revolution! Anyway, that's um, uh, when dogs became politically incorrect. As usual, I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And certainly would welcome you taking a look at any of my 34 books. Probably the one most relevant to this is Little Doggy Stories. <clears throat> but all 34 are on Amazon. Just go there, search on my name, Marty Nemko, N-E-M-K-O, and you will find more than you can stomach. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemko.